Right, it's time for Showbiz and Miss G has joined me here in the studio. Hello, Miss G. Hello, Israel, and welcome back from the weekend. Okay, so I have a, um, some good news for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell I me. Have, I'm going to tell you if you're going to tell me what you did last night. What did I do last night? I slept. Just that? Yeah. Okay, we'll talk about it. Okay. When I'm convinced that you have told me, I'll tell oh, you. Oh, definitely you tell me this good news. You know you can't hide anything good from me. No, but you're also not supposed to hide good things. But I just me. told you the truth. I slept. Just that? Mm. Okay. Why, you, you expected I did something else? You let's carry on. Okay. Tell us what's so, up for So, Afa, the man who represented Ghana at the BETs, who we all hoped that would bring us, you know, that award, is back in Ghana. He didn't get the award, though. He loved the experience. Like, we, we played a video of him whilst he was still out there. Now he's back. He's going, you know, for his media tour. And luckily for us, he was at Hits FM today. And he's been speaking about his BET experience. So, we want to show you that. Now, this whole BET thing, did I tell you how they they picked you? No. <laughs> no they didn't. So so and how I didn't ask to like I Why didn't you ask? Asking. Like it's God engineering. Mm. Like, yeah, in mean, no, I So I felt like I've already been nominated. Like maybe sat me yeah, still I've been nominated. You, so you won't change a thing. No, wait a minute. You you seem to I'm trying to choose my words carefully, but you seem to. I don't care for my liking. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, they've they've picked me. So what, okay, here I go. Yeah. Like, yeah. like it's like I I feel like I feel like it's God because there are lots of people in this like in this field we find ourselves mm. in like who are doing who are doing as good as we are doing. Mm. Yeah, even like some are doing way better. Mm. Oh, we got there. I think we got the day we got our visa. That's the day, like, we travel. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Like, the day we go... Uh, I wish you wouldn't say it. I wish you wouldn't say it on there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, I have to say it. For right, people to right. Know. Yeah. So, that day, no, like, we packed our bags and we just flew there. And the flight was so long. Yeah, okay. The flight was oh, from okay, London. So, it was a direct flight? No. Like, we did a transit in oh, London. Okay. In, and from in London. Heathrow. Okay. Yeah. We moved to LA. Yeah, yeah, and it was so long. Yeah, it was so long. Like... At one point, I wanted to just, I wanted them to just drop me. Like, <laughs> Why, was it your first time on the plane? Yeah. Now, nah, first time, like, traveling to, to the States. States. Okay. Yeah. So it was so long. And when we got there, I think that, that evening, there was a party. Okay. Like, that was when I met the video for the okay. first time. Mm. And we went to the party. We met a whole lot of, like, African artists, like Fali Pupa, okay. Niola. Yeah. And it was fun. And I think two days later... That's when the show happened. Mm. Yeah, that's when the show happened. And it was great. It was a great night. For crazy Arthur. Some and people want to travel. Yeah. You don't get some, uh, people, some people travel long haul flights. And they are complaining. Can you imagine? Yeah. Anyway. And now let's tell you about some drama that happened on radio as well. So, drama. your favorite girl. Oh. You know her. Miss Bell. Miss Bell again is in the news. Okay, time. so Miss Bell and Marco Kukumanti have something going on. Only the two of them can explain. Have something going on? When that, you put it that way, uh, it's not, that's what I'm saying. That is the two of them. There's something going they on know, between the two of them. Yes, it's they, like they, an affair. Oh, is that the only thing that can go on between people, Israel? The way you put it. I said they have something going on and it's just both of them that can explain because they never seem to agree on anything. They never seem to like each other. That's what the well, that's what Miss Bell claims. Because on radio, you know, Miss Bell alleges that, you know, a lot of Ghanaians, you know, keep insulting her, including Marco Krikumanti. So she was called on radio to talk about how she says she spent sixty thousand, Miss Bell, what am I maybe sixty thousand on promotion. And so she was called on radio to speak on that and Mark made an input that got her irritated. So she called him irresponsible on radio and made oh. several allegations against him on radio and then she banged the phone. She said that I said I said something about her song, I, and 
sir. People like Okay Kumante will sit down and say silly things like this about me. And I don't respond. I don't say anything. It goes and goes and goes and stays on the internet. So I can't let him sit down and tell my fans or tell people who give me business that I like being insulted because it makes me relevant. Hello, I make good music. Music that people can enjoy, people can have sex with, people can love people with. So don't sit there and say insult is what makes me who I am. I will insult you too, so you know insult is not good. That's what Okweku if you insult me, I will insult him back. Okweku Mante is one of the people who sat on TV to say, say, people should not vote for me. When 16 years was nominated, this song is a good song. This song is a song I did so that people, young girls can feel free and be young girls. It's an encouraging song. You sat on radio and said, say, uh, and said, say, and you know, and the words, and the lyrics, and the way I dress, and blah, blah, blah. The song. The song was nominated, and you talk about how I dress. And then when you finish, you say, eh, people should vote. Nobody voted for me. I didn't win an award for that song because of you. And I didn't have any platform to express myself over the years. And then you keep doing it and doing it and doing it. Tell me 15 years is not a good song that could have won an award in Ghana. He won an award in Italy. He won an award in the UK. Why would people vote for me, even if they like the song? After you, when they look up to people like you, okay, Kumante. And you, you also look up to him. Never ever. He's irresponsible. I've given you enough space, but for you, you to cross that line, to say he's irresponsible, he's a father. and I'm a mother too. Yes, so if you're a mother, it depends on how you, you choose your words. I will appreciate it if you retract that statement. Um, you've insulted him. Thank you very much. All right. So let, let's leave it here uh, on the heels of that apology. Uh, I, I'm grateful for your time. I did not apologize. He's irresponsible. Yes, he is, and he knows that. Thank you. Okay. So that's the drama. But this is what Mark had to say to her when it was his turn to speak. She said that. I said, I said something about her song. I, and I, I remember. Um, Music is taste and choices. And that is what most of these people do not know. You can do a song that you think that this song is a banger. It will come out and then the public will behave like they've not heard it. Mm. It will be played back and back. It should tell you that you like it, but the public they don't want it. Mm. Mm. And say if they get the opportunity to reply you face to face, I'm sure they will tell you this is your song, we don't like it though. Mm. When the people reject your product, it means they don't like the product. Mm. And in marketing, we say they punish you for producing that product. They don't want it. But if an individual tells you in your face that I don't like this, your music, then we are angry. I am 16 years old, so I'll be 16 years. She says she did it to motivate the young ones. So for someone who is supposed to motivate the people, you do a song like this, the following day, you are, uh, you, you are selling nudity. How can that brand motivate a young person? It's like, um, and you know, I'm, I was an, or I am still an advocate for women doing what we people call secular music, because most of our women years ago were doing gospel. Mm. So I used to advocate that there's nothing, there's, it's not in the Bible or Quran that women shouldn't do other forms of music. We are getting tired of feminine voice for gospel one way, so they should cross over. So when she came, you were happy about. I thought that oh yeah. I mean, a woman, but I realized that, ah, Charlie, content is not coming. Uh, scale. And, and when people come out first, I want to hear them for a second time. Then, because I want to see growth. Then, you, you, don't, you can't hear the growth. I don't know that need to Okay, uh, I have my own uh, take on, on, mm -hmm, on all of this. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think he's trying to suggest that um, I'd be 16 years wasn't a hit. It was a hit. Okay. Okay. Maybe if he's saying he but was says, selling nudity mm -hmm. or whatever, I mean, that's up to him. But mm -hmm. I mean, there's some songs that you do, you can say that there's no sense in it, but then they're hits. Yeah. You take Shatawale has several such tracks. <laughs> and Patapa is one corner song. Hey, Patapa, so his songs are for exercise. They also go to the gym. Please don't go there. You don't want him to put a song together for us. Please. Okay, 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 okay. We didn't go to any award with him, but he will find something to say about us. We Ooh, beg you. Okay. We don't All want right. any issue. So the good news I, I was saying that, uh, you know, you, you sent me on an errand. Yes. To go and see Niamadagadu yeah. of DSTV. So I went to see him. I went uh, to the offices today. 
and uh, well, they're telling me that you're sorted. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. Oh, Israel, it's so, good doing so, business so with you. So you're sorted. So I mean, those so, so those were some images I took with. Uh, himself, Niamh Dagat. See, Niamh, this one you can't renege on your promise because we have pictures. <laughs> There's evidence that yep, we are yep, going yep, to Kigali. Yep, 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 we are yep, going yep, to Rwanda yep. for the AMVCA. So is please. It, is it Rwanda yep. or Nigeria? No, I hear this time around we are going to Rwanda or are we going to Nigeria? Okay, yeah, yeah, we are going to Nigeria. Yeah, yeah. We are going to Nigeria. We are going to Nigeria. Yeah, yeah. So yeah it's Nigeria. Nigeria he told me about. Yes, yes, yeah, we are going to Nigeria for the AMVCA. Thank you very much, Israel, All right. for pulling yeah. this one every time I come Even to though you. you didn't tell me what you did last night. And uh, are you going to tell me what you're going to do the, tonight? Well, okay, so it's your husband's birthday. So happy birthday to you. To me? Yeah. How? To send to your husband, Raymond Aqua. Please, Raymond, Israel says happy birthday <laughs> to you. Thank you very much for having me. All and right. thank you also to the DSTV team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we can't wait to be at the AMVC. Sure, sure, sure. All right.